Hi, this is a quick tutorial on um, how to create a cover for your Blurb book using the Blurb uh, plugin for Adobe InDesign. So I'm going to assume you've uh, downloaded the uh, plugin from or whichever version of CS you've got and you've installed that. Um, so um, let's switch over to Adobe InDesign and show you. Okay. So in the InDesign, there's a couple of things you need to, to need to know. Um, first, you need to know um, how many pages you're gonna um, you've already created for your book, because obviously depending on the thickness of the pages, um, and that goes for the paper stock you're using. Um, depending on how many pages and which paper stock, obviously the thickness of the book varies, and obviously that needs to be taken into account when you're creating your cover. So um, the blurb have gone away and done those kind of calculations for you, and there's a simple way of creating cover. So um, I'm just going to demonstrate that. So if we go up to File, and if you've installed the blurb template creator, you get this, um, this uh, menu option in File. So let's just click on that. Okay, and it opens this dialog box, which... Um, enables you to create a template. Now, you can create a, a book template as well as a cover template. So if you've um, been using one of the templates I have already um, put up onto the blog, then um, that would have been done for you. Otherwise, you could actually start a fresh um, a standard portrait, um, paper type, standard, whatever. Um, but as we've already done those, uh, we've done the pages, um, creating the cover, you just flick over to this cover switch and choose the book size, so that would be standard portrait, paper type, depending on which paper you want to choose, but um, standard on this occasion. Um, and then we want to do a dust jacket. Um, there's a few different options there. You can look at uh, what they, they, those mean on Blurb's um, website. And then put the uh, page count. Now, to upload to Blurb, you have to have a minimum of uh, 20 pages. So. Um, if yeah, so uh, you can't go for anything less. If you try and put in less, um, it comes up with an error message. Um, so it must be um, a minimum of 20 pages. So, <clears throat> and also it must be an even number of pages um, for obvious reasons. Okay, so hit um, create cover template. And just like it did with the uh, creating the pages template, if you've been through that step, it just takes a bit of time for. Um, for the, for the uh, template creator to put that together. Okay. So I'm just going to zoom out, and you can kind of see if I zoom in a little bit. Okay, so we can see our cover. We've got um, our back cover, front page, we've got the spine, and the two flaps. Um, there again, um, we've got two layers in this InDesign document. Uh, one's the instructions, which you can turn off. Um, and also the uh, and another layer to actually add your design. Um, there again, it's got a bleed line, um, just like the regular pages, and I suggest if you've got a full color image, you go right up to the bleed. Um, and yeah, if you're, it's pretty self-explanatory, really. Um, okay, so once you've got your design and you're happy with that, then you go to File, and just like you did before, you go to uh, PDF Exports, and there again, if you've in, you know loaded in the software, you'll have this blurb PDF export option. Click on that, <clears throat> save. Um, you know, put it where you're going to um, sort of navigate to where you want to save. Now, in this instance, I can just put it straight in there. Um, but if you've got a project folder, I suggest you create a folder called Outputs, and you put all the PDFs in Outputs, and you call this maybe your name uh, underscore cover, um, and then maybe put a version name on it. Okay, so hit save. Now, this is automatically set up the exact settings that Blurb require. So you don't need to change anything in here. You just press export, and off it goes and exports it. Um, <clears throat> and that's pretty much all you need to know. Um, once it's finished that, um, you can uh, then you're ready to upload that cover to Blurb.